uh, sometimes between the close friends, uh, issues arise. So India is very uh, important for us. How will you balance China and India all together? We, we believe in democracy, human rights. So we have a good relation with India. And in northern side, uh, China uh, is also a good neighbor uh, for Nepal. Uh, we are uh, dealing with them since uh, 250 years. Uh, so no, we don't have any problem. But, but India yeah. has the problem. Welcome to Ins and Outs. Today we are going to discuss about the India and Nepal, the new relationship. It's a historical day today that when Indian Prime Minister and the <coughs> Nepal Prime Minister had the several agreements. Today we are going to discuss with Nepal Foreign Minister and the Seoul. We have seen several agreements, several with the both side PM and both we are very happy to see the new. Uh, beginning or new beginning I can't say because it's a, like ongoing thing that what he mentioned so what your uh, perspective like you know in the past present and the future between India and Nepal it was like ups and down relations and how we are going ahead now we have very old good relation with India uh, from old times uh, we are sharing the same culture uh, we, are, we have a um, 1800 kilometer border and we have uh, the common rivers. So we are very close friends and uh, sometimes between the close friends uh, issues arise and they can be sought out with understanding, dialogue uh, and this is the same uh, style that uh, this time when our Prime Minister came to India uh, uh, in the invitation of right Honorable Prime Minister of India, Modi ji, uh, then uh, we start the dialogue and uh, you know so some are inaugurated, some are uh, flagging off, uh, some projects are uh, groundbreaking and we have some MOU and on some there are agreements yes. uh, so uh, between few times back when there was some problem in relation between the two countries now uh, they came to a normal stage and right. again we are very uh, close neighbor and i think our relation will be better in coming days yeah, sir, uh, we have seen several things because many uh, Nepali citizens also living in India doing jobs and many sectors. It's like uh, no difference between the Indian and the Nepali citizen if you see a common person. You know, yesterday I spoke to a few of the Nepali citizens. They were telling that, you know, we are not being treated in a way that what should be, like in a telecom sector, like they raised one issue. That you know, when they call to Nepal, they have to pay 12 rupees something. But when they call to USA, they are charged only 2 to 3 rupees. So why is the Nepal government is putting that kind of tariff? We will discuss that on later. But before that, today the agreement happened, whatever the agreements happened, to improve the tourism, improve the trade and the new relationship. So where we are uh, standing right now and how we are looking in the five years down the line? Nepal is a landlocked country, so a transit, uh, most of the business we do from India. Uh, although China is also a, um, we share border with China also, uh, but uh, uh, trade with China also uh, come through the Indian Ocean. So India is very uh, important for us and this time uh, the pending treaty of uh, 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 transit uh, is signed and uh, new uh, uh, we, we have revisions on this treaty and a new treaty has been signed it's a very um, a big achievement another in the field of connectivity uh, in the field of uh, railway transportation in field of trade uh, and uh, so many things uh, we uh, signed and uh, we are uh, going further in these matters. Yeah, sir, sir, you are handling the foreign uh, ministry. It's a very important di division of any country to have the international relation. How will you balance China and India all together? Uh, both are the um, close neighbor uh, and we have very uh, close 
and good relation with uh, India since long time. Uh, these relations are historic uh, and these relations uh, we sometimes say roti beti or the brotherhood sometimes say we, these are the very uh, we, we are uh, ruled by the same system in our uh, different countries. We, we believe in democracy, human rights. So we have a good relation with India and in northern side uh, China uh, is also a good neighbor uh, for Nepal. Uh, I don't think that uh, being a great country uh, uh, in the neighbor, uh, we, we, we have any problem because uh, we are uh, dealing with them since uh, 250 years. Uh, so no, we don't have any problems. But India has the problem because they don't want that, you know, to uh, give any edge or any space to China so that they can get benefit. Uh, China is our neighbor, and uh, two things uh, we already uh, have cleared through our foreign policy that we believe in one China policy, um, and uh, we can't. Uh, give our land to use against the China. Uh, when our priority uh, will take the help from any of the countries in the world. Uh, but uh, any, we don't have any in, uh, interest. Uh, we are very close friend to uh, uh, India. So I don't think uh, uh, there should be any objection to India uh, uh, with the relation of Nepal with China because we are, we are already engaged with India in different matters. So it's as you also told that you know Roti Betty and this kind of relationship and yeah. even the Prime Minister also told that you know it's a one family. Yeah. So yeah. it's a, to, if we are one family, we are Roti Betty brothers, sisters, yeah. what went wrong that we have the, that kind of trust deficit? Yeah, the, we should remove the trust deficit uh, from, uh, um, uh, from today when uh, right Honorable Prime Minister of India, Modi ji, told that uh, the dispute, in, uh, dispute including uh, the border will be resolved by negotiation, discussions. Uh, it, will, uh, uh, it will promote the relation between the two countries and it will uh, set back those elements uh, in India and Nepal who have some different narrative negative narrative to the uh, toward the Indo-Nepal relations. So there are some problems, unresolved problems. Through negotiations, we will uh, solve the problem. And uh, Modi ji and uh, our right honorable uh, uh, Prime Minister Prasanna ji, they are agree uh, to resolve the problems through dialogue. Yeah, so these are the very complicated issues and you know, it will take time. That we yeah, yeah, it will, yeah, it will time. take time. time. But at the meantime, that how because the Prime Minister we, who has experienced his, you know, during his stay in India for a long time, yeah. in different states, yeah. Yeah. he also yeah. mentioned yeah. that how yeah. he learned uh, about India, you know, through talking yeah. to intellectuals and all. So yeah. now he thinks like, you know, it's a very open-minded and open, you know, ideas and all. So how far will reach? Because it's like very limited time for two years, next Prime Minister and other, it's still a rotation thing. If he is working on that, after two years down the line, if the new Prime Minister comes, will it continue? Or we, have a, we have established norms in uh, foreign policy. Yeah. Government comes and goes, mm -hmm. but our policy uh, remains uh, the same. Or something little bit, uh, it might be changed, but major principle of the um, our foreign policy is guided by non-alignment uh, the, the principle uh, according to the uh, Charter of United Nations uh, and uh, we don't believe in any military alliance, uh, neither we um, intervene in the internal matter of any country, nor will we like to uh, any intervention from other countries. So we have established norms in foreign policy. So I don't think that when uh, our government will be uh, changed in a uh, certain setup, certain alliance, uh, then there will be uh, any problem because we already have done the minimum uh, common program of the all ruling parties and 
uh, according to those policies or foreign policy is wrong. When you talk about that there is a norms and the policy which will continue whichever the uh, government comes, yes. whichever the yes. uh, Prime Minister will be there. Yeah. But when you talk the business and the, you know, the businessmen, they have the apprehension, you know, when you they deal with some uh, leadership yeah. and after that when uh, some new leadership comes, they feel, you know, apprehensive that how we'll deal because the new uh, relationship has to be developed, new idea or new terms and conditions. This is not the problem of foreign policy. This is the problem of unstability. unstability yes. uh, sometimes uh, unstability create uh, such type of problem. Yes. Uh, but after uh, proclaiming uh, the constitution, uh, we already have two elections and uh, we have uh, democratic setup there. We uh, hold the election of parliaments and province level, mm -hmm. local levels. Now uh, Nepal is uh, going, uh, Nepal is stabilizing. Mm -hmm. yes. And those problems uh, facing in business, other relations, they will be reduced. Yeah, I think the business will listen this one and they will understand that, you know, that the situation yeah. has changed. Yeah. And they are safe and secure in Nepal. Yeah. Yeah. There is no issue yeah. at all. But no, yeah. any business, man, we are just calling uh, the investors to invest in Nepal, uh, especially those Indian investors also. Uh, we are um, saying that uh, you uh, invest in the hydro energy and other sectors also we can come. Uh, we will give uh, protection to uh, those investments in according to our law. You talked about hydrogen energy, that is yeah. very important for Nepal because yeah. they are abundance of water and all. Yeah. So how how much the capacity it is that they are, you can serve not only India, also Bangladesh or China, or if you want to, do you have the capacity of that? Uh, we can develop our energy um, within a 20 uh, years, uh, 50,000 megawatt, clean energy. And then so we have a capacity, we can uh, give India, China, uh, India, Bangladesh clean energy, uh, um, uh, zero emission yes. effect will be uh, there and uh, it will um, uh, help them for their international commitments uh, regarding to clean energy. Yeah. So I want to know that what are the situation at the very, very grassroots level that, you know, the radical groups and other groups, they were fighting and so what is the situation right now? No, no radical groups are there in Nepal just now, okay. right now. All uh, political issues has been resolved and we have already declared the constitution. According to constitution, uh, all any group can take part in election, pa part in elections yeah, and uh, uh, if uh, they have any issue, uh, they can reform the constitution uh, through the constitutional uh, uh, amendments. Yeah. So that is normal. So I think yeah. that the, the businessmen will be more confident about uh, thinking about the... Uh, no, in Nepal, it's a business, business environment now. No any law and order problem. Uh, the government uh, wanted to promote the private sector. Uh, so all the businessmen are welcome there. Uh, before uh, concluding this one, sir, I wanted to uh, take one message from you to the businessmen across the world, yeah. to investors. Why Nepal? Why only Nepal? If China is there, India is there, sitting in the neighbor, Bhutan is there. Mm. Why only Nepal? For investment? For investment. Oh yeah, Nepal has uh, very big potentiality of uh, um, uh, hydro projects. Mm. Uh, they can invest in hydro projects. Uh, Nepal is the longest uh, uh, range of the Himalaya, so they can uh, come to they can uh, come to here come in a, they, they can invest in uh, Nepal in, in tourism infrastructure, hotels, other things. They can invest there. Ne Nepal is uh, almost 29 million people, so it's a good market also. Uh, from Nepal, uh, we can export, if they invest, we can export too many things to China and India. China and India are also a market for us.
that is the center that you know yeah, you can yeah. get the bad advantage yeah, of yeah. Yeah. so yeah, almost 2.8 billion that yeah. you were talking about yeah. population they will yeah. serve yeah. and how, what are the uh, relation with bangladesh just quickly oh. Uh, we have a quite good relation with Bangladesh. We are we are among the first, uh, I think, seven countries who um, uh, who who have uh, diplomatic relation when Bangladesh was established. Nice talking to you, sir. Thank you so much for this quick and short. Uh, thank you, thank you so that, much. Yeah, I thank hope you. that businessmen will listen and they yeah. understand the you know. Yes, I hope so. Thank you, sir. Uh, I will thank your media for uh, giving me opportunity to uh, inviting the uh, private sector. Yeah, it's Thank our you. pleasure. Sir. Thank you so much. Bye. Uh, this was uh, discussion, very brief discussion uh, between the foreign minister of Nepal who was on the visit with the prime minister on the four day visit that which is happening and lots of agreements, lots of deals are happening. We talked to a different minister, different you know, representative from different countries very soon.